This is a video tour of the Sleep 6 full-size kitchen tiny house. As you can see, we have a loft on either end. Um, from the front door, this side is the living room with the master loft above it where a queen bed, well, maybe a king bed would even fit up there. Um, and on the other side is the bathroom and um, not only do we have a loft that is split down the middle for a twin bed on either side, but jutted out over the gooseneck trailer, we have a what we call a shed. It's connected to the inside by a door, and there's a door on the outside. Uh, on the other side of the tiny house you can get to from a ladder, and we keep off-season clothes in there and extra things that take up too much space in the house. So, let's go inside. Uh, you can see the stove has been hooked up for moving. Um, it's propane stove and a really high power exhaust unit above it. We have some storage space next to it. And immediately what you walk into is the kitchen. Um, there's a computer desk where a chair fits under snugly. And you can see right now we have all our extra stuff that goes with the house we can't keep outside. But where these things are on this ledge is where the refrigerator belongs. Uh, it has water hookup so that you can make ice or hook it up to the water maker, whatever your refrigerator has. And in this unit here, um, between the counter and the stove that is not dead space. That is where the water heater lives. We have on demand, um, water heater and there's a trash and recycling unit in here. And then, um, this is all I'm really going to be able to show you on a video of the water heater, but um, it's all hooked up and has a drain pan underneath in case of an overflow and um, it's all to code. On this side of the house, as mentioned, if you look up you can see the shelving unit that um, half of the shelves face each side so that whoever's on the twin bed on either side they each have shelves. Um, there is hallway underneath to the bathroom and then a room for we had a small Ikea shelving unit and a tall thin hamper here in the hallway um, yes this is Hannah's room you can paint over that of course and then underneath on the floor is another sleeping space so that's our one two up above three four twin bed sleeping spaces they all have their own shelves so on the bunk beds they each have a shelving unit just like this on that side and they also each have shelves um, on the hallway side and same on the bottom the bottom one, the bed is lifted because of possible condensation because the floor is cooler when you are a tiny house on wheels. We have two electric heaters. One is in this hallway and one is near the um, living room and the master loft. And um, this light is really pretty. It shines a lace pattern on the ceiling. And the heater heats up very fast and quickly and we never had trouble keeping this house warm um, even as low as uh, what temperatures were we out here and probably um, as low as five degrees. Here's the bathroom. Uh, stainless steel shower um, with a tile shelf and 
grout stain that we didn't clean up fast enough when we built it. We have a separate composting toilet that includes a little potty training seat if needed. Ikea sink and um, vanity. We have vent fan to the outside to keep the condensation out of the bathroom. There's a shot of the bottom of the vanity. Bathroom closes off and can lock with a pocket door, like a kind of barn door style pocket door that slides back into a cavity behind the beds. Um, we, we have fabric there just to keep the door from getting scuffed up on the wood. To get upstairs, we have stainless steel backed uh, ladder so that it keeps from getting scuffed up. Designed so that you have handles to grab as you climb up. And here is kind of a bird's eye view of the rest of the house. Ceiling fan that we generally kept on 24 hours a day on at least a low speed just to keep the heat or cool air, whichever time of year it was, circulating. Um, which is really good to have airflow in a tiny house like this. There's a remote control for the lights in the fan so you don't have to Get out of bed to deal with it if you don't want to. Light for the lofts. And then each loft also has their own reading lamp. Um, there's a better view of the reading lamps. And that is the door to the shed. Currently taken off the wall. It's hidden. As you can see, it blends in. There, It's made out of the same beams that are on the wall so that whoever's living in this space doesn't feel like there's a door behind them. Um, and the shelves are down right now, but this shelving unit faces this bed and on the other side, the shelves face the other side. We have installed temporarily for right now, um, little hooks and there's curtains to go with them. So, um, they are like a, a medium brown, light brown colored curtains that just hang on those hooks for privacy. You can see from here, the desk space has a window right over it. You could do a computer desk or a homework desk. Um, but there's a lot of natural light in this house, which is really nice. Everything is beetle kill um, on the walls and ceiling. The floor is vinyl plank flooring. We have the Backsplashes, um, the metal color, some Ikea strips for hanging utensils, <clears throat> extra shelf, good storage up here for like the blender or whatever, and then open storage under the sink and other four cabinets. The drawers are spacious too. Butcher block countertop, freshly waxed with all natural wax usb charger ports in the kitchen there's also a couple more in the living room uh, microwave and dish rack included um, our stairway professionally built for lots of storage space this is backpack hooks in our family it was backpack hooks anyway and then next door is the taller of the two, and that was coat closet. Zoom back out so you get a good idea of that. The steps come up the other side, and then there's the platform, and then they continue around this side to get up to the loft. 
we have a washer dryer unit here that is a combo works fantastic put your clothes in before you go to bed and in the morning they are dry we love that thing um, and some storage space above it too the other side of the stair case there's a really long the the tiny the tiny hole right here is very deep our son put his hockey sticks in there but fishing poles would fit all the way in there too um, and then every step underneath it has space that goes back as far as um, as far as a couple feet and is good for shoes or uh, whatever is convenient for you so here's a shot of the living room a rather big living room for a tiny house some um, your sitting space is confined to just one bench facing the opposite wall but we wanted a full living room for our family of six so we have the three ottomans that pull out and have storage in them we used them for extra chairs to seat us for dinner uh, around the Ikea table, which you can see the flaps are down right now, but that opens up to a six foot long table. Um, most of the time we just opened up one flap and ate on all sides of it, but both flaps do open in this space if you need it to. Underneath the back corner, if you lift the cushion, there is storage space back here also that whole that whole corner is not unusable um, we just kept things we kept our board games in there that we didn't need every day and another cell phone charger port the little bracket was for holding our apple tv and there's still the installation space for a projector which we had in the ceiling here so the projector was over our heads and then the, on that hook we mounted a projector screen that we could put up and take down every time we wanted to watch TV so everybody could face the projector screen and we could all watch TV together let's check out the master loft right now we have this um, support beam here just for moving that does not stay there that goes away so normally it's wide open up here um, but we wanted extra structural support when we were driving down the highway and um, these hooks on the ceiling are for the privacy curtains for this room which are not up right now here's the second heater and the master loft three bright windows and that is all storage space. Um, there's four, if you can see, four doors on the top to open to get at things from four different areas. But that is a nice deep place for clothes or books or whatever. My husband's taller than me at five foot eight, but uh, we could both sit up on top of a real actual mattress and not hit our heads on the ceiling. We designed this so that we could sit up and read and be comfortable and live life up here and not have to army crawl in. That is, I think, the full tour. If you have any questions, please feel free to uh, click on the link and get me an email and I will be happy to answer any, any queries you have about the house. Thanks for watching.